Hey, so we're here at SALT Conference and I have Zach Camp from Reverb here. You're speaking, you're teaching, you're leading us these days. Yeah. Give us just a little preview of kind of what you've been sharing in some of the workshops. Oh man, so talking about how to get more engaged engagement on social media and there's, you know, you look on social media, there's like 10 different people saying 10 different things and you really don't know who to follow. Uh, and so kind of teaching like core principles on what that looks like. So how you as a creative have to be healthy. Like if yeah. you get burned out, that's not gonna do engagement on your social platform any well. That's not gonna do you any well. That's not gonna do your ministry any well. And then really core principles, whether it's video, photo, graphic design, like what are core principles to those disciplines and how can you kind of continue your influence in that rather than trends or themes or anything else. Um, like follow those, those are good. But if you wanna be sustainable, scalable, um, have longevity in your ministry as a creative, um, kind of getting to back to those core principles will well, no. grow engagement. Um, and then the last thing is to understand the algorithm. We wanna kind of push back against the algorithm. Uh, but once you understand that the algorithm is people, if you're not reaching the right people and you blame the algorithm, you might need to change your focus a little bit mm. uh, on what you're creating that content for, whether it's for evangelizing or discipleship, kind of like being really focused uh, and then defining your audience from there. Really insightful stuff. And one of the things, uh, real quick, actually, will you kind of give a little bit of a synopsis of what Reverb Agency is? Yeah. So Reverb is it's an event-based company, a visual content um, partner for brands that do great events. So we'll come in, do mainly real-time content. So say something at Salt Happens main session, within an hour, hour and a half of that session ending, you'll have content that yeah. will go straight out. We come in with a team of like anywhere from three to 12 people, depending yeah. on what's I've been needed. a part of it. You had what, 20, 30? Exactly, yeah. 20, 30 people. Those ones are fun. Huge, yeah. Um, come in, do it. It's great. We love real-time content. It really, we don't like FOMO. We like uh, don't. As Clark, the CEO, calls it D-Money. Don't miss out on next year. Oh my gosh, um, I love so. that. <laughs> D-Money. Um, one of the things I love about Reverb and what you just spoke to is especially in church environments, um, but really, I mean, in, in sort of events and all that, like because of that real-timeness, yeah. you guys have to move quick. Yep. And what I've come to appreciate is team collaboration. That's yeah. a theme we're sort of Huge. sitting in this year as yeah. a conference. Y'all's team has to have so much connectedness. Yep. You have to be on the same page. Yep. Can you maybe give just a little bit of insights as to kind of how you guys accomplish that? Yeah, the really the foundation is trust. So if I don't trust whoever is on my team, like we're not gonna collaborate. Yeah. Uh, so trust I think is the foundation to that. On top of that, we have to kind of combat as creatives, our creative ego. Mm. Uh, and so I was kind of talking about this earlier um, that really like I have to let go. Yeah. Like this project is not my own and kind of taking a posture of service, which is great. It's inherent to our faith. Um, and sometimes we forget that as creatives, that if we're not serving the client, if we're not serving our team, if we're not serving, um, really, if we're not serving, we're not serving ourselves wow. in that. Uh, and so it's kind of letting go of what I want as a creative and trusting my teammate, my client, whoever it may be, that they know what they want. And so we're here to serve them and from that place, then we create. Um, but at the same time as creatives, uh, we need something kind of to tie, not our identity to, but to have the freedom that we want. So that's why side projects are great. Like yeah. You get to control that, you get to own that. So make sure that's a part of your life and that'll make collaboration um, within an agency or on your church team so much easier. I love that. As you guys think about yeah. events and doing real-time content, how much of the sort of percentage of time you spend on a project is pre-production mm -hmm. to really kind of get you guys on the same page yeah. versus how much of it is really kind of reactive and all being on the same page, ready to go, hey, we got to yep. hit this. Uh, we're actually kind of transitioning more to that pre-planning. Uh, so as a startup, everything is reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you know. Um, That's probably so, most churches. That exactly. Are it's yeah. like, ah. Uh, and I kind of hit this on my talk of like the biggest thing is like pre-planning. If you want more engagement on social media, if you want more engagement with the art that you're creating, whatever it might be, putting the work in on the front end mm. is so key. And if you're a creative director or director of production or whatever it might be, the majority of my time at least is gonna be in that. Yeah. So I'm not gonna be creating. And then I have to let go of my creative ego in that. And it's like, and back to service and back to collaboration to where uh, I'm gonna set up whoever's on my team, the creative or video person or photographer, whoever it may be, that they just kind of walk into it. And it's almost like the sense of jealousy to where it's like, oh, I wish like I never got that. Like, why did they get that? Yeah. It's like, okay, got to let go of my pride on that. Uh, Pre-plan, have a sandbox. Most people think that creatives don't want direction. 
a sandbox and that's not true. Like yeah. they and want- what are the barriers of those sandbox? Like what, it, what are those guidelines? It depends. So- Brand guide? Like brand guide, um, style guide, mood board, whatever it might be. Um, it can depend on project or event. Um, most of the time what we've been doing is like having screenshots of like, this is what we want the color to look like. This yeah. is what the feel, this is like kind of the music vibe. Um, and holistic collaboration, if, especially if it's a brand project, we'll have our client fill that out. So it's like, I'm not gonna like dictate per se of what you, yeah. we'll, we'll, we're guiding them, uh, but their uh, story brand framework, they're the hero yeah. and we're the guide. And so taking that mindset so uh, cool. and applying it. Man, so insightful. I love that you're here this week. I love Glad that you guys are here. digging into this community. Thank you, Zach, for Thank being you. with us Thank and sharing you. with us all. Appreciate it.